Assistive technologies help students with special needs like vision or hearing problems, as well as those with cognitive delays, master education assignments as they become fully engaged in classroom activities. Universal design means using the power of technology already present in most classrooms to design instruction that helps all students learn, including those with special needs. When should teachers make use of universal design? Whenever teachers need to engage all learners as active participants in instruction. Research and guidelines from the CAST Institute, Center for Applied Special Technology, states that learning is best supported when instruction is provided in multiple formats. Students are allowed to express and are engaged through a variety of experiences. In this video, we will see how teachers use the technology tools they already have to help students with special needs and all students better understand key terms and topics. We will also see how technology can supplement traditional paper and pencil assessments by providing students new ways to express their understanding of topics. In a classroom utilizing the principles of universal design of instruction, there is no one type of technology tool required. Universal design means using the technology resources to actively engage all students in the learning process. Typically, however, the equipment in a UDL classroom will almost always include video projectors to display pictures, graphics, multimedia, and short video segments. For assessment, student response systems, or clickers, help to collect data on the understanding of every student. While both still and video cameras provide another alternative form of assessment, students demonstrate their understanding through images rather than written text. In this classroom, the teacher is showing students a short video that captures all key points of the reading assignment. This helps the students better understand the terms and context of the content in a way that might otherwise be lost to struggling readers. We are going to watch a video today to review the lesson from last week. It talks about four or five different parts of the cell, <coughs> but it is all review. You should know it. Then after we're done, we are going to play a game on the smart board to review all of the parts of the cell. Using laptop computers, this instructor is providing individualized instruction by allowing students to review the video shown in class, as well as directing them to interactive websites which help reinforce the content of the day's lesson. Here a student is demonstrating understanding the key concept of making a video, rather than writing a research paper. Differentiated learning can be achieved best by using technology. If you're using the technology, then they want to jump in there with you. They're getting life skills on what they're going to need when they're out in a job. Technology can be used in just all sorts of ways with my struggling writers and readers. It's so engaging that the tough part is to say, it's time to stop, but I'm finding that the students, because they're engaged, they're asking more questions, and I find that it's higher level questions because you know, they can see things. They, they don't have to just imagine what it would be like or look in a book and see one static photo. I, there are definitely more teaching done in a day. You just can't talk enough about student engagement, and when you're using technology, you have student engagement. They are definitely going to learn a whole lot more than if they feel just like passive receptors. They just feel like they're a part of it. They have ownership of it. And that was what makes it neat. Mm -hmm. 